Whenever we exchange ideas, whether in casual conversation or formal argument, we are representing our own particular perspective on the topic. Let's have an art lesson. I want you to look around the room that you're sitting in and pick out one object. Don't pick it up, just look at it, kind of like this camera. I want you to think about what details you can see, and what the shape seems like, what you notice about it from this particular angle. Now, get up and walk around the object. The details that you see can change. You'll be able to see some of the same details. You won't be able to see them all or from the same way. You'll also be able to see new details that you couldn't before. This is the difference in perspective. Now, and this is for you math-minded folks, I want you to think about a circle with something in the middle. I have a dot here, but imagine that the dot in the middle is your topic, your subject, the thing that you're talking about, discussing, arguing about, writing about. It can be whatever you like. Now, most of you know how many rays can extend from the center of a circle. Infinite. While I'm not going to draw an infinite number of rays, you know, I want you to imagine an infinite number of rays extending from the center of this circle. On one of these rays, you're standing. This is you. The ray that's here is your perspective. It's your line, the line that your vision travels when you look at the topic. On this next ray is another dot. That dot is someone else. Specifically, they're the someone else that you're trying to talk to. They're on the receiving end of your dialogue, of what you're saying or writing. The line that this person is standing on is their perspective on the topic. This is going to be stating the obvious, but these are obviously different perspectives. Even though they're looking at the same topic, they don't both see it from the exact same angle. So let's take another way, an, an, another angle on this. If you take the topic, the dot that represents you, and the dot that represents someone else, and you connect them, you have a triangle. The triangle that these connected points make is what we call the rhetorical triangle. The triangle consists of you, your audience, and the topic. Now, in this triangle, we have speaker, because this kind of goes back to um, ancient rhetoric where they would uh, use speeches instead of writing things down. So it's why it's usually the speaker in the audience and the subject, not usually the writer. So the triangle sits in what we call the context. Context is the situation, the atmosphere, the historical setting even, that the writing is taking place in. It might seem less than thrilling to label this triangle, but it is pretty important to the success of your essay. So this bottom line represents the difference in perspective, but also how you see each other. It is important to consider not just how you view your audience when you're writing, but how your audience views you. Do they trust you? Do you trust them? You also need to consider how your audience views your topic. Do they like it? Do they dislike it? Maybe they oppose it. They might love it or fear it. You should ask the same questions for yourself. Analyze your perspective on the subject just as you do the audience's. Is your perspective influenced by emotions? Is it influenced by bias? Is it influenced by assumptions? It's also important to think about how the topic affects both you and the audience. Does it make you sad? Angry? Does it make your audience defensive? Argumentative? Understanding the relationship between all of these elements and how the context influences all of these relationships is key to building a truly successful essay.